in one of my uh, previous videos I um, made a bowl using the uh, cross lights and that turned out harder and a bit more boring than expected so now it's time to try and make a uh, proper bowl gouge um, these are my options a uh, car boot gas strut a uh, tire iron a brand new shock absorber from a VW and a piece of rod of unknown properties I've seen someone suggest using these on the internet but I don't think this is a uh, very good steel it's also too thin to make a uh, ball gouge this might actually be a good candidate but it's too short and this one is just too thick it's um, it's pretty hard by the way uh, much harder than the uh, poor shock absorber I used for uh, making that faceplate so that leaves this one a, uh, a 60 millimeter thick rod which is pretty hard maybe a little too thick but uh, I will use this uh, to try and make bulk gouge I'm thinking 25 centimeters should be enough I can uh, I can always shorten it if it's too much and it will get shorter over time if it is any good should put the guard back on pretty hard let's see if I can drill this stuff um, to be honest I fully expect a failure alright that changes things um, I've got it uh, mounted off center in the four jaw uh, I'm doing this to uh, create a uh, bigger bevel I just drilled a 4 mm hole now I'm going to use a 9.5 mm drill which is about the biggest drill I can use without uh, breaking through the side um, I must say that uh, this is drilling easier than I uh, thought it would be it may be not that hard on the inside well that uh, didn't look pretty good well it looks like I uh, run out of new drills so uh, I'm going with this uh, 8 millimeter uh, drill that uh, was freshly resharpened by uh, yours truly that was horrible but why? another uh, drill chuck and another drill bit sucks now how do I get that out challenge accepted it's angle grinding time every man's favorite hobby you're not a real man until you own a couple of angle grinders Like I need a new one. Stay. <laughs> there it goes. There it is. There it goes. The proof. 
that's a that's one sad wannabe gouge. A bit more grinding to do. I must say that uh, in my mind it definitely looked better. Now I'm gonna grind a uh, tang on here. So that takes care of the tang. Now I gotta put a handle on it. And for that I'm gonna reuse this one that came uh, with the uh, wooden lathe. Maybe a bit small for such a big um, I'm not gonna call it a gouge but uh, it's a bit small for such a big piece of steel but before I can mount it I need to put a bigger hole in it I'm ready to drill out the hole I got the old uh, dual chuck mounted unfortunately it only goes to 10 millimeters and I want 11 so I'll probably have to drill it out or ream it uh, with the uh, cordless drill um, I'm using a bit of uh, lead to uh, protect the handle I don't know why I saw that stuff laying around and thought if it's good enough for palm shelters it should be good enough for this okay here we go that's a bit slow I found a spade bit that uh, fit the drill chuck. Unfortunately, it wasn't running very through, so now the hole is a bit too big and also not very round anymore. So it looks like I need to rely on the uh, polyester resin to keep this thing together. Yeah, that should do it. Always a mess playing with this stuff. The person who made this handle must have run out of uh, sanding paper because it's uh, pretty rough, like a two day beard. So I'm gonna sand it a bit here on the lathe. It's not running very true. But I wasn't expecting it. I'm done sanding and I'm gonna put some uh, linseed oil on. I did uh, burn these uh, grooves. To be honest, I don't really like those grooves. I never know where to put them and they serve no purpose. That looks kind of nice. So there it is. Not as nice as I would have liked it to be, but uh, I got it done. That's what counts. I'll leave this stuff to harden overnight and let the linseed oil dry. And then tomorrow I'll uh, grind the edge on there and I'll take it for a test run. But that will be something for the next video.